Welcome to C programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn what is enumerations. Now, enumerations, the actual definition is it's a set of integer enumeration constants represented by identifiers. So let's jump into the coding and I will explain while we program. So in code blocks, we go and create a new empty file and we save this as enumerations.c so uh, enumeration before we declare our enumeration let's start by including our standard input and output library in main void and return zero. We save and we build and run just to make sure that our program compiled and run successfully. Yes. So let's start by declaring enumeration. So what is an uh, enumeration? Enumerations are very useful when we work with things like uh, months of the year or days of the week. We can define as set in the definition enumeration constants represented by identifiers. So we can declare an enumeration by using, let's say, the months of the year. And we can do the months of the year with the enumeration and then use that enumeration in a for loop. So we can count from January to December by saying count from Jan to December. So we can do that. So let's see how we would do that. So I'm going to do a quick uh, example of how we can do enumerations. And I will do the days of the week. So I will say days of, or well, let's Keep it more simple, let's say week. And let's do it with a small letter W. Week is just easier example. We can do months as well. The reason why I chose week is just there's only seven week, oh, seven days in a week, where in months we have 12. So the example is a lot shorter to type. So let's start off by Sunday. We have Sunday, comma, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And that's our enumeration. Now, enumerations will normally start at zero if we do not define a starting point. So in this case, Sunday will be zero and Saturday will be six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. But we know Sunday is the first day of the week in a lot of traditions and countries. So we will set Sunday as one. So now we define Sunday as one. So now it will continue to three, four, five, six, seven and we have seven days in the week. So let's do an example and work with this enumeration. Okay, enumeration. We're going to declare enumeration of type week. Uh, and this variable is going to be just week. So the variable week with a capital letter w is of type enum week and the same with structures we can type def enum week to only one as well now what we will do is let's create a char pointer called week let's say weekday day name and weekday name the pointer 
is going to be it's a pointer of type array and we're going to create actually for ourselves a array with the names of the week so the first one we're not going to give it anything we're going to leave it blank because this is now index zero and we want to start at one so the first one is going to be sunday the next one is going to be monday next one is tuesday oops choose day with, oh, again witness can never spell witness day wednesday with one x we've got thursday next we've got Friday uh, and the last one is going to be Saturday okay so it's a long declaration of names for the week and this is the actual names of the week okay great so this will continue We've got, and let's off, we can do this as well if we want to. Something like this. Great. So we've got the weekday names. It's going to be a pointer weekday name of array. So it's like a multi-dimensional array that we're just doing there. And this is the actual days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we've got this enum. So how do we work with the enum now? And now it's actually quite nice and interesting. It's useful in some situations and nice to use in some situations. So what we can do is we can say, we're going to say week is equal to sun day and week is going to be smaller than and equal to saturday and we're gonna say week plus plus so now it's kind of like we're saying Week is now Sunday, so it's now actually one. Week is now then smaller than and equal to Saturday. And we're going to week plus plus. So this is kind of like giving it a starting point. So we're going to say count from Sunday to Saturday and increments of one. And then what we can do is we can then oop, print out the actual day of or the name of that day so what we can do is we can say percentage d and then percentage s and what we can do is we're going to say percentage d is going to be the week okay and the percentage s is going to be the weekday name and we're going to put week in there so let's see what will happen okay before i show this let's just put in new lines there so each and every time it's going to be a new line and now let's check so week at Sunday will be one week, it's then one, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So these correlate to the variable weekday name that we create here. And this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
is our enumeration, our numeration that started at one. So we defined it to start at one. So it's kind of like creating our own set of variable or numbers that we can work from. So we can say week is not equal to Sunday and week must be smaller, smaller than Saturday and week plus plus. And Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is kind of like our constants, if you can see it like that. So Sunday will be one, Monday will be two, and so forth. And that is enumerations sometimes very nice to use this it's very self-explanatory and easy to follow if you use enumerations in your coding you can see week is equal to sunday it makes it a lot more self-explanatory if you look at the code that's it from my side with enumerations thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon